students so welcome back so our next topic under the urinary system disease is urinary tract obstruction or scientifically known as obstructive uropathy so what is obstructive uropathy it is a condition where urine can't flow whether it is partial or whether it is completely obstructed okay where it can be obstructed it can be obstructed in your ureters tube or in your urinary bladder or even in the urethra the type of the obstruction can be different but it can cause problems to your kidney because as the urine is not getting out of the body it may get back or may get reflex back to the kidneys so the ureters which are the two tubes which carries the urine from the kidney to the bladder and then excreted out through the urethra may have some obstructions okay these obstructions can be due to swelling or due to the duplicate ureter in one kidney okay this condition can affect both men and women and it can affect them at any age but keep in mind this can also affect small children and even a newborn baby and one more thing it can affect an unborn child also when the lady is pregnant okay so here you can see on one side there is a normal kidney and on the left side you can see a kidney having blockage there the blockage has been shown in the kidney as well as in the ureter and in the bladder on the other side when you see on the right side you can see the duplicate ureter in the single kidney that can cause the reflex of the urine okay so what are the sites of obstruction obstruction can occur anywhere in your urinary tract okay that may include your both kidneys your ureters your urinary bladder in men it can affect prostate glands also and urethra okay so signs and symptoms this is very important what are the signs to know that there is uropathy so a person may have inability to pass the urine the reason is obstruction okay and this reason you have studied in the previous lecture that is renal calculi okay the other reason may be weak stream of urine the person is feeling that his bladder is full but when he is passing the urine urine stream is very light okay there may be interrupted stream means once you are doing the micturition it is not in the keep it in full flow but it is getting stopped at few intervals okay hematuria that is blood in the urine or you may feel the pain in your abdominal area or on the sides of your back okay what is the risk factor so there are so many predisposing factors for the urinary tract uh, obstruction these include within the tract that is when there are kidney stones urinary bladder stone or ureter stones along with that there may be blood clot or tumor okay if it is within the wall of the tract that may be due to the strictures that have been done during some uh, you can say the surgery or some other conditions or when your bladder is paralyzed and the last reason is pressure from the outside on the tract that may include the prostate enlargement prostate cancer pelvic tumors or penile foreskin problems in small childs okay so what are the causes predisposing forms uh, uh, predisposing conditions may include that there is prostate enlargement in the men's having banning or malignant tumors there may be stones in kidney ureter or bladder or there may be the tumors in the same condition or there may be some urinary tract infections there may be a presence of blood clot or in women who are pregnant there may be a enlargement of uterus having causing problem for the ureters okay weak bladder that 
cannot push the urine out okay and there are some congenital structures also that basically include children's okay having problems in the urinary tract or having some foreign body some antigens which are present in the body and last but not least is the trauma with pelvic fracture anyone who have fallen down having accident who have fractured his pelvic bone may have problem to pass urine also okay so how we can diagnose this condition it's very easy to diagnose this condition nowadays because it's a common condition we can go through some blood tests some routine urine tests or you can go for the kidney x-rays kidney ultrasound scan cat scan mir or intravenous pyelogram or if it is due to the prostate problem you can go for cystoscopy okay so the treatment there are two types of treatment according to the obstruction what type of obstruction is there according to that we can do the treatment so there are two treatments which i am talking about is drainage treatment and surgical treatment so if we talk about the drainage treatment this is the treatment done on the ureters if there is obstruction in ureters if ureters are closed if they are obstructed urine is not going to pass to the bladder so for that condition you may put a ureteral stent that is being put up by the uh, uh, doctors through the urethra up to the ureter or you can go for percutaneous nephrostomy or the best method for this condition is applying a catheter okay next is the surgical treatment if there is some problems related to prostate or some other condition the surgical approach is very much common okay for that what you can do is you can go for endoscopic surgery and open surgery for a laparoscopic surgery or nowadays this laparoscopic surgery is being done by the robots okay so thank you thank you very much for this lecture